Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday, everyone, and a very good evening to all who are watching this video. This is going to be another technical video, guys, and could be lengthy as well. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install DVWA application on your Kali Linux virtual machine to learn uh, pen testing stuffs uh, with regards to cybersecurity. Okay, so let's quickly start, guys. Uh, so, here I'm just going to log into my Kali Linux operating system virtual machine, I would say. And here what I'm going to do is, firstly, uh, let me go ahead and uh, uninstall existing DVW application, guys. Okay, so I'm going to go to File Manager just now. Here what I'm going to do is go to File System, then VAR, and then WWW, HTML. So this is where, where a web application resides, guys. So web servers, sorry. And this is where the DVWA uh, program or application or web application or whatever you call it is uh, going to get installed, okay, in this directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and just uh, click on move to trash. And then uh, also I'm going to remove from trash as well, okay. Now this will uninstall the uh, DVWA application on which is currently installed on my Linux virtual machine, okay. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you from the scratch how to install it, okay, fresh on my uh, on a Kali Linux virtual machine for you to begin learning about the pen testing stuff with regards to cybersecurity. So let's quickly get started, guys. All you have, all I have to do now is just open my root terminal here. So I have made a prepared a document here, guys, okay, which has all the commands and uh, etc. So as part of the prerequisites, what I would suggest is just uh, run this apt get update command here okay just do this okay and i think uh, everything looks updated for uh, in my case here okay there's nothing much for it to get installed and i will run this second command here guys you can make a note of it just do and another one okay i'm just going to quickly say yes If that's done guys no what the next thing i'm going to do is uh then what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to quickly uh switch to that directory here which is uh, var www and html and here what i'm going to do is quickly run this command here in front of you git uh space clone space this uh github link which has the dvw uh a installer guys okay and uh i'll just uh make it more simpler for you just copy paste this command here on this word document here yeah maybe i will add it here as well okay so this is the url guys it should have the zip file of the application you just go to this url you can see there will be a zip file as well if i download this and show you you can use it. I just unzip it here. You will see all the files related to the DVW application, guys. So it's basically a web application, guys. Okay, so it's, it's a PHP application. Okay, and then. Uh, uh, let's quickly get started guys. Okay, that's let's leave that aside So I'm just going to quickly hit enter guys and it's going to get installed in the HTML directory of uh, web application Okay, and if I come here, okay, let me show you from the file manager itself Where is it? Okay So you, you can see the uh, application uh, folder has been created over here. Okay, under this directory, var www html. Okay, so this web application has got an installed over here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do next is this is just optional, guys. I'm just going to quickly rename dvwa to lowercase dvwa. Okay, because the application, the web application itself, uh, has a, a 
is globally recognized with this lower case dbwa hence i'm going to rename it okay and now what i'm going to do now is after that uh let me quickly re recall this because it's been a long time since i have uh, done all these stuffs okay particularly it's been a long time since i used this application for uh, my own learning purpose because i uh, used to do this long while ago and so after this i think we should be doing uh, something here you see if there is a command history All right, so next, what I'm going to do now is get inside this folder here, which is D, uh, which is now DVWA. Okay, inside that, there will be another uh, folder called config. Just going to quickly do that. Now, what I'm going to do is just list out all the files here. And now, what I'm going to do is rename this DIST file, okay, uh, and save it as .php file, okay, as in, I'm going to do a copy, and then uh, copy another file within this same file. Okay, and make it as .php, uh, I mean, save it as a .php file, config file, basically, okay. And now what I'm going to do now is just edit that file, basically, okay, which is your config.inc.php file using mousepad uh, uh, text editor, okay, which is my favorite, personal favorite. You can use Vim uh, as well as Nano as well, does not matter, but this is more easier, I would say. And now within this file, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to specify the, I mean, change the DB database username to admin and uh, change the logon, change the pa uh, password from to password, okay? Again, it's, this, is an, this is just an optional file, guys. You can use the same thing as well, whichever, which is default. Uh, but for ease of access or ease of use, I'm just updating the username and password. Okay, okay? but I'm just going to control S now, save the file and close this here. Okay, now what next I'm going to do is quickly going to see what PHP uh, program is available within my uh, calendar operating system. All right, quickly do LS. Currently what I have is uh, 8.2 version. Just go to quickly switch to 8.2 directory and just do a ls and quickly go to cd apache to folder here okay and quickly do a ls here okay now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to quickly edit the mousepad dot uh, i mean edit the php dot ini file here okay and here what i what we need to do a, a quick check is whether these two parameters allow url f open is is set to on okay i'm just going to quickly do a control f control v and see whether that is available there you go guys it is already set to on because i had already installed it previously i just did a uninstallation however it not reverted all these settings right so it's uh, currently staying on on mode guys and the second line this one allow url include it also is in on mode so for you it will be off ensure you turn it on okay just switch from off to on and just quickly save the file and that's it for us there is no need okay because it's already uh staying in on mode here okay now the next thing that you have to do is uh you have to configure uh the database okay uh with the username admin okay uh and uh, the loopback interface okay uh, where uh, the database is going to be hosted okay uh, uh, on the local host itself okay with the loopback interface 127.0.0.1 okay and the database name would be dbwa okay uh, like if you remember the, the the last file right this file over here it where we edited our uname and password okay it has to match uh, exactly uh, to what would, we would be doing it uh, on a database, on our database, basically, okay? We have to create a database, basically, okay? That should be uh, given the name as DVWA. And then we have to create a username uh, as admin, okay? Because that's what we specified in that uh, other conf config file within the DVWA application uh, directory. And 
yeah so these things these values needs to match the other configuration file guys whatever we are specifying in the database okay that uh, database uh, creation with regards to uh, the user account name as well as uh, the password we need to specify the same password what what is available within the config file as well as uh, that's 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 the only thing that we have to take care of, guys okay so let's quickly go ahead and configure the database guys further what i'm going to do now is uh quickly do sql okay sorry my sql and then uh, so uh, so before that all these changes right for you whenever you are making these changes on your side like uh currently we did uh, this particular check that we did right to ensure that these parameters are set to on you have to restart the service guys how are you going to do the restart guys system ctl okay and then restart apache 2 and if you want to check the status guys whether it's in running state you just do a status apache 2 all right and you will see the status as active running okay and also uh, we have not made any changes to uh, sql file and its configuration just now hence uh, i will just leave uh, you can do a restart of the sql database as well by just running my sql here okay okay so basically uh, when you are doing the status if it is in stop state you just have to run the system ctl command to just start your uh, mysql uh, uh, database service okay by doing this it will start guys and only then you can you would be able to log into your uh, mysql database server okay uh, so let's quickly log on to the uh, mysql uh, server guys okay so for that the command is mysql okay minus u as in username to log into the database and the uh, minus p as in the password okay currently most of you may have not configured your root account password guys in case if there is no password you just hit enter and then under enter password uh, uh, field you just specify blank that is you just hit another enter and log in but for me it is going to be i have set up a password for my root account and so i'm going to enter the password and hit enter here And now what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to quickly create the database guys with the name DVWA. But before that, I'm just going to do a show databases here to see if there is any duplicate copy of uh, database. So you can see here guys, currently there is already an existing database with the name DVWA guys. So, so what I'm going to do now is quickly remove the old one here just to show you how it works. And now if I do a show databases guys. The DVW would have gone now. So what I'm going to do now is just create another database in front of you. Create database. The name DVWA and then I will hit colon. And now I'm just going to do another show databases guys. And you will see uh, DVWA database is uh, recreated now. Okay now what the next step that I'm going to do now is. The next step would be obviously to create the user guys okay so for that what i'm going to do now is just copy paste this command here uh here i'm just going to replace your password with my uh exact one what i specified in the config file earlier okay so guys i'm just going to do a quick copy paste here copy and then paste here uh, maybe it is stuck guys Does not run properly. Okay. Should be this way. Yeah. 
maybe there is some space issue here okay let me copy and do it, redo it again guys we are going to quickly end the session okay we are going to log back into my SQL database here Okay, now what I'm going to do is just quickly run that command again. Not getting executed some for some reason. Probably another Basically what happens is, there is another important thing that we need to do guys, if I just remember, um, or we just have to give the full permission to this DVWA folder basically, but probably that is a reason why that command is not getting executed. Okay, so uh, let's try running the same command again guys, this one, or is there a space? Um, okay, so let me do a uh, let me try doing a restart here of the SQL database. My SQL and let's do this thing again. Just let's check service is running. Okay, so it's running, guys. Okay, now let's do one thing. Okay, now we'll just log back to our SQL database again. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just do a show databases. It's still there. Okay, and I'm, what I'm doing next is I'm just going to see if the user got created by any chance using this command here, verify user creation. So you can see here, guys, there is another, there is already an account that is created guys okay so that's the reason why uh, the account creation step was actually not uh, working okay so this account creation step okay so the f very first step over here wasn't working just because uh, because there is already an existing account in the name admin uh, which is at the rate of uh, local host IP address so so that's the reason it was not working okay you got it right you understood right However, if I just want to show you, like uh, by removing, like I will just remove the user account admin just now, okay, and I will show you uh, how this account creation works, guys, okay, so hold on. Basically, it is the same command here, okay, what you have to do is drop user. Basically, guys. So, guys, basically, there was an alignment issue. That is why it was not working. Okay, the copy paste had some issues. Hence, I tried to manually type it, guys, and it worked. Okay, so basically, if you type manually, there is create user, create space user space, and then if you just do, uh, uh, because right, there was a spacing issue here. Okay, basically there was an alignment issue hence why the command execution was not working and hence now if you see it it has successfully worked the, the the admin id was recreated okay i can just do a verify again quick verify um, i'll just do a copy paste again hopefully it works this time yeah you can see the admin id is uh, recreated once once more Okay, once again, okay, and now what the next step is just to create or just assign the uh, privileges as in all privileges on the DVW database to this account, the full full permissions, we are giving full permissions to this admin ID just now, okay, hopefully the copy paste works this time, but I will try, otherwise I will just uh, 
just what i can say we'll just uh, type it manually okay however this time it successfully worked guys and now what the next step is to flush privileges okay just do a paste here okay that also has worked guys so all the configuration and uh, setup within the database has been completed or within the database server as in the mysql server has been completed for the DW, uh, dwa database okay within the database we have set the right permissions for the admin id okay for the logon to work and this is the last step guys and that is completed now we should be good to launch the web application here okay by just running this uh, uh, url here which is localhost let me type localhost in front of you and this is the one guys now what i'm going to do now is if you just do a login.php and just type admin password and just do a quick login and then if you just uh, create uh, click on this create or reset database and that's going to show you the message data that database has been created and you should successfully log in uh, log on to the land into the login page where it will ask you for the username and password and that's the default one which we've already specified admin password and then just click on login you should be good to use the dwb uh, sorry dwa application guys where can, you can learn all these uh, pen testing stuffs guys okay for free and uh, and i mean and hone your uh, cyber security skills guys and if you found this video helpful guys please hit the support button guys and do not forget to subscribe my channel for more useful technical videos like this uh, uh, with regards to cyber security and we will meet in the next video guys until then stay safe video leeches startup bye bye